Hello Captains, your host Brent Justice here and welcome to Just Gaming For Us. Today I have some Star Trek Online news. Now lately there hasn't quite been a lot of Star Trek Online news to show, so it's been a while since the last news post. But we actually have something new and I was not expecting this. This one is called the Borg Resurgence. So what Cryptic has done is it has revamped or remastered three Borg TFOs. Now this is quite unique because the Borg TFOs were, well, the first TFOs this game ever had. And they were in quite a different form than they are in now. They used to be separated between space and ground. Uh, actually, even before that, they were combined into one big mission, but then they separated them into space and ground. And, and uh, they've changed so many times along the way because they've had different tokens and ways of earning rewards that have changed throughout the game. So it's been a while since these things got a heavy hand on them, and I think they are again. What I don't know is if these will continue to be the main TFOs after this update. We know this is going to be a special event, but not quite sure if that means these will remain the standard TFOs, the new remastered ones. But let's go ahead and read this so we know what's coming. Priority alert to all captains from Admiral Devac and Task Force Omega. The Borg have returned. The Borg Resurgence event pre presents remastered versions of three of the most popular Borg Task Force operation and pits you against the implacable advance of the Borg. This new event is designed to celebrate these long-standing operations and gives players a new method of engaging with the classic nemesis in all their resurgent terror. Participating in this event will give all players the opportunity to win a set of cyclical modulation ground weaponry, a pistol, a rifle, and an assault for their entire account. Keep reading the details on these items, how you can participate in the event, and what additional prizes may be earned. The Borg are adapting. What do we mean by remastered? Well, like the Borg, our game is also adapting. We selected these three TFOs to update and remaster because of their popularity among the player base and the quality of their content. They represented designs that worked well. They are elite tactical drones, if you will. We made them more robust, updated them, added voiceovers, and improved on their presentation and mechanics to provide an even better player experience. Resistance is futile. To alleviate any fears, these TFOs did not get harder or have copious extra hoops added to them that we expect players to jump through. Instead, we shaved off the rough bits, streamlined messaging, and tweaked the uh, fail conditions to be communicated better and have margins of failure rather than binary conditions that suddenly happen and cause you to fail silently. Infected will still be the viable DPS check. You'll just get wonderful new voiceover to talk to you while you dismantle Borg cubes. Assimilate new players. The stakes are the same. The rewards for strong play are still there, but now it is much more user-friendly experience, and that means more drones for the collective, or more players to play with and enjoy the content together. The TFOs match level ensuring that they are balanced regardless of player level. The messaging is streamlined, lessening confusion, which was a barrier to entry for some. We remind players to bring frequency remodulators for ground TFOs against the Borg, for, ex for instance, and we update players on events as they unfold much more clearly. All of these improvements improve the experience to make the content as welcoming as possible for new players. Raising the stakes. For you veterans, advanced versions of these TFOs are always available to really test your crew or deliver them to streaming into the comforting nanite embrace of the collective. And for the first time since the introduction of a three-tier difficulty system for TFOs, we are pleased to announce that the Borg Resurgent event will also introduce elite versions of these remastered experiences intended for the truly brave among you your journey toward perfection. 
Viewing the details of this event in-game is as simple as opening your journal and navigating to the new events tab. From here, all of the pertinent information is at your fingertips. As you are, as you as are simple to use buttons that allow quick access to the associated content for this event. As a core feature of the updated event system, all progress points gained toward completion of the event are shared across your entire account. Progress is now also entirely automated, doing away with the need to receive tokens or slot them into projects. Various new content offerings may be played in order to earn your daily progress during the completion of the Borg Resurgence event. Any of the participating TFOs from the following list will complete your daily progress. You can do Infected the Conduit, Space, Kittimer, Vortex, Space, and Into the Hive, Ground. Players will be able to complete their daily progress once every 20 hours, and any of the above TFOs may be playable as much as you like each day. So pick and choose how you prefer to gain progress each day, and mix it up as much or as little as you like. So here are, is the event campaign, campaign part three final event. This multiple event spanning progression track will continue with the Borg Resurgence event. This will be the final event that will participate in this campaign, marking your last chance at receiving its reward. Each day that your daily requirement is met, the standard daily allotment of 50 event campaign progress will be applied to your progress toward the completion of the event campaign's grand prize. Occurring a total of 14 days worth of daily progress will allow you to claim the grand prize of the Borg Resurgence event. This reward includes all of the following. Cyclical Modulation Ground Weaponry Pack. Once earned, every character on your account will be able to claim this set of ground weapons for themselves, including a pistol, a rifle, and an assault variant. Complete details on the weapons and capabilities is included later in this blog. Three featured TFO reward boxes. Each gives a choice of one specialization point or an enhanced universal tech upgrade and 50,000 dilithium ore or issued immediately for use as you see fit. Note the feature TFO boxes and dilithium ore are only rewarded once to the first character on your account that claims the grand prize. So let's go over what all that meant. Uh, basically, they are revamping the TFOs, the Borg TFOs specifically. Now, which ones specifically they are advanced, uh, revamping? It looks like it may just be infected the conduit space, Kittimer Vortex space, and into the hive ground. If there's more than that that they're revamping, I'm not sure. It's a little confusing which specific ones they're revamping, but it sounds like maybe just those three. So we will see when this goes live, which one specifically. And uh, I will play them when they go live. But I like the idea, I think, of revamping them because they are, well, the oldest TFOs in the game. However, like I said previously, they've been revamped in the past. These used to actually be one whole missions that was space and ground. Like each one was just one big TFO kind of mission. And it was both space and ground. Then they split them up into two and they had the space version and the ground version. And uh, they've kind of become easier and easier over the years, especially uh, the Cure. Cure Space and Cure Ground has become incredibly easy over the years. Um, so I'm not quite sure what, how this will all play yet. Um, it sounds like there's going to be a cleanup of messaging, which is nice, I guess, to remind new players, you know, what you need, like the frequency remodulators. That's important. So that's kind of good, I guess. And then having more voiceover, that brings more immersion to them. So that's nice. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the streamlining that they're talking about because already these are kind of simple. And if they streamline them any more, I mean, how much easier are they going to be? I mean, you can finish an infected space in like five minutes, you know, and it's done. So I'm not really sure that they need streamlining in that way. I, I just don't know what that means or what that's going to lead to. But I'm interested to find out. I'm hoping, always hoping, they improve the graphics. Because that's the one thing that really needs to be improved in this game. It's an aging game engine. And the graphics are starting to show their age. I would love to see these things revamped with new textures and uh, better graphics and all that. But... You know, that's me just dreaming, I guess. Um, 
let's go on and read the rest here. We have the Cyclical Modulation Ground Weaponry. Completion of this event will grant you a weapon pack containing three variants, compression pistol, sniper rifle, blast assault, of a new type of ground weaponry inspired primarily by past conflicts with the Borg. These weapons have standardized primary and secondary firing modes, while their unique aspect lies in the tertiary firing mode. Typically reserved for a melee strike, these weapons instead utilize a cyclic modulation ability in this slot. Activating cyclic modulation causes the weapon to change the energy type it's firing. This cycle proceeds along the following cycle. Phaser, Disruptor, Plasma, Tetrion, Polaron, Antiproton, Phaser. Additionally, each time these weapons have their energy type cycled, they will also gain multiple charges of a special penetration buff that can bypass a portion of enemy shields and damage resistances. Keeping, uh, keep cycling in order to repeatedly benefit from this potent boost. Cyclical modulation weaponry also have brand new weapon appearances never previously available. Well, it sounds to me like these weapons are definitely specifically designed to fight the Borg. There's no reason to really change the the uh, energy type for any other enemy in this game. Only the Borg would benefit from changing the uh, the energy type. That would lessen the need for for a remodulation. Then you can just cycle to different energy types and you know overcome their adaptation to that energy type. So other than the Borg, I, I don't see what the real benefit of these weapons would be. But maybe for the Borg, if you're fighting a lot of Borg, maybe these weapons would be, you know, really good uh, for, for that. So we'll see. Bonus rewards. After claiming the grand prize, you will unlock the option of earning additional Dilithium Ore. Uh, basically, they've already talked about that. This bonus reward will begin at 2,500 Dilithium Ore for the first day's completion and scales up with each subsequent bonus completion that you achieve. Zen buyout option for players interested in e instantly completing the Borg's uh, resurgence event, whether that is due to worries over finding the playtime to complete it or simply wanting to move immediately into earning bonus rewards, we will be offering an updated method for buying out. Within the new event UI, an option will be presented that allows you to purchase the remaining progress that you need for a scaling amount of Zen. The base price for this service will be 25 to, or will be 2,000 Zen, but every single daily progress that you earn will reduce that price on a percentage basis. Thus, if you have already earned seven daily progress, half of the 14 required, this price will be reduced for you down to 1,000 Zen. The more you play, the cheaper the buyout option becomes. So we've actually already seen that in the game. That's not a new feature, but for this event, they're bringing that back. So, you know, you can put as much work as you want in and reduce the cost of it if you want to buy it out. A second chance. Once the Borg Resurgent event has ended, your opportunity to earn progress points will have passed. However, the new event system will store the progress that you made along with the event has expired. Based on this stored progress, the option to buy out the rewards will remain available through a new second chance interface. The price for this buyout is the same as what is offered while the event is active and scales in the same manner based on your amount of progress points occurred. Basically, it's a way to buy it out after the events even ended. Legacy progress. Veteran players that have participated in previous featured TFOs may still be in possession of multiple featured TFO commendation items, which are no longer used in the new event system. In an effort to maintain the value and investment attached to these legacy items, we will be taking the following actions. Logging in as any character that possesses one or more featured TFO commendations will trigger an automatic conversation which will remove the commendations and grant your account an equivalent amount of legacy event progress. Players will want to log in each of their characters in order to apply all of the existing commendations to this new account-wide pool. Each upcoming eligible event, typically only featured TFO events, will have an option to apply legacy progress to the requirements present, allowing you to cash in your already earned and or already purchased progress toward these new events as they become active. So there you go. Um, this will be, I guess, that last big uh, event. This is all going towards eventually getting that free Tier 6 starship, I think, right? That's the whole point of this. Well, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see that they would be, you know, revamping the Borg TFOs, or a few of them. Um, but I guess I like the idea. I just don't know what to expect. I mean, it's good to keep things changing because you need to do that to keep the game interesting. You don't want it to become boring and outdated. So 
that's good. I just hope it's enough of a revamp to make it interesting, but not too much that it alienates everybody. So that's a fine balance that they have to maintain there, a fine balance. But we will see how this all plays out when it goes live. Uh, and let me check real quick. I think the date for it was already announced. Yes, uh, it will be on January 7th. So just a couple of days here, January 7th at 8 a.m. Pacific to January 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific. So those are the dates, January 7th to January 28th. That is your time frame to play this. Just a few weeks. Just a few weeks. Not very long, honestly. So what I will do is when this releases on the 7th, I will uh, record a playthrough of each of these new ones and take a look at it. And we will see what it's all about. And uh, that'll, that's pretty much that. You know, We'll play it and see what it looks like then. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these new revamp Borg uh, missions, this Resurgence Borg event. Look forward to your comments and what you think. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.